Hello, I'm Kate Dalby of Inspiring Test Preparation in McLean, Virginia. Today I'm going to explain a problem for the TJSIS math problem of February 2018. Now this problem is actually not the problem that was administered, but after discussing it with some of my students, I decided it was very similar to a problem that could be found in the College Board SAT um, from their newest edition, uh, test number six, and I will have uh, the URL um, link below in my comment section. Here is a copy of the test question. Now, uh, you can see that it says question 17 to 19 refers to the following information. When designing a stairway, an architect can use a riser tread formula 2H plus D equals 25, where H is a riser height in inches and D is a tread depth in inches for any given stairway. The riser height, heights are the same and the tread depths are the same for all steps in that stairway. The number of steps in a stairway is the number of its risers. For example, there are five steps in the stairway in the figure above. The total rise of a stairway is the sum of the total heights as shown in the figure. Now in these problems, I've gone and covered up the answers because I think that's more realistic of what you're going to encounter in an SIS type question. You're not going to be given a choice of answers, which you can guess from in an intelligent way. Uh, 17, which of the following expresses the riser height in terms of the tread depth? That's question 17. Question 18. Some building codes require that for indoor stairways, a tread depth must be at least 9 inches and the riser height must be at least 5 inches. According to the riser tread formula, which of the following inequalities uh, represents a set of all possible values for the riser height that meets this code requirement? And of course, since I've covered over the answers, you will have to give the range of... Uh, riser height. So it'll be H is greater than or H is less than or equal to. Um, an architect, number 19, an architect wants to use a riser tread formula to design a stairway with a total rise of nine feet, a riser height between seven and eight inches, and an odd number of steps. With the architect's constraints, which of the following must be the tread depth in inches of the stairway? And my uh, specific questions for this problem are how many risers altogether, what is riser height, what is tre tread depth. So there you have it. Hopefully that's clear. And we'll start um, an explanation. You can hit pause, try to work these out for yourself. And uh, when you think you've got your answers, you can click on the video and continue listening to my explanations. Thank you. Welcome back. I hope you had fun working on those problems. Uh, the first question, hopefully you've uh, found the link, printed out a copy or written it down. The first question is which of the following expresses the riser height in terms of tr tread depth? And this is a very simple problem. You need to take your initial formula 2H plus D equals 25. And the question says what which of the following expresses a riser height? All that means is you try to isolate the H. And to do that, you use your basic algebra skills. You subtract D from each side in order to isolate the term with the H in it. You get 2H equals 25 minus D. Then you divide by two, divide by two, and you get H equals 25 minus D over 2. That can also be written as 25 over 2 minus D over 2, or as given in this particular um, explanation, uh, in, the, in the actual answers in the book, they give you, as one of the answer choices, 1 half times 25 minus D. So that's a very basic problem. Hopefully you were all able to get that one because it just requires you to uh, solve for H instead of D. So that's the first one. Um, now the problem mark 18 
um, wants to know, and, and it's, it's written in such a way that you're supposed to actually select an answer, but uh, hopefully you realize that I had covered over the answer choices, so you would have to submit the answer yourself. And the question is, uh, what is the inequality, it would be, what is the inequality that represents a set of all possible values for the riser height? So we have, so to determine the maximum height, um, let's see, um, you actually have one of the ranges in the problem. And the range that's given in the problem is the riser height must be at least five. So if we have height is greater than or equal to five, then what we're looking for is this maximum value. Now to get that maximum value, we need to take the nine inches for the tread depth. So tread depth is um, nine inches, and I guess we should just probably refer to it as depth so you don't get confused. Depth is nine inches. We have the formula 2H plus depth equals 25. And so you take this value and plug it in here, and you get 2H plus nine is 25. And so 2H equals 16, because we subtracted nine from each side. And we have the height is, six, uh, is eight, because we divided each side by two. So our height is eight, which means our height can be anywhere between five and eight in, and any value in between. So that is the height of the uh, stairs in this particular problem. Now these also, this also is a pretty straightforward problem and hopefully you didn't have too much trouble with it. The last problem is difficult and this highlights something about the SAT and other tests like the SAT and ACT. When you have a problem based on one drawing and there's three problems or four problems or two problems, typically they go from easiest to hardest. And then when you get back into the regular set of problems, you'll actually go to something usually easier than the last of the three. So if you ever kind of are taking a test and you come to a third problem that's quite hard, don't, don't despair. They, they won't necessarily keep getting harder after that question. Um, just it, it gets progressively harder within the group. That's a generalization. They can always break the rules, but that's, uh, that's a trend I think you'll see for most standardized tests. Now, the last question is an architect wants to use a tr riser tread formula to design a stairway with a total rise of nine feet. Now, if we have a nine foot rise, okay, that's gonna be nine times 12 inches is 108 inches for your rise. Now, we wanna figure out, um, they say that the, the rise has to be, each rise, each of these has to be between seven, um, the rise is, um, let's see, we're gonna say height is between seven and eight, okay? And it can include seven and eight. Um, so if you take seven and you, you take 108 and you divide it by seven, you will get, um, one and uh, five, and you'll get some fraction. You don't need to know what the fraction is. You just need to know that one of the possible values you're looking for is 15. Then your second value is if you take 108 and you divide by eight, you will get uh, one and eight goes in three, and then you get a fraction again. So you know that the first integer over 13 is 14, and the next one is 15, and we only want 14 and 15 because we end up with 15 in a fraction. So we don't have to worry about 13 because thir it's 13 in a fraction. So uh, the question um, says that part of the constraint is that there are, uh, there are an odd number of steps. So we're not actually going to use the 14, we're going to, we're going to use the 15. So to answer the question, how many, how many risers altogether? The number of risers altogether is 15. Now we take that and we go back to our original 108 and we say 108 divided by 15 gives us, oh, 
yikes, well, it's gotta be somewhere around seven. Seven times five is 35 and 10, 105, and then we subtract, and 15 goes into 30, a very nice and even two. So our, the answer to the next question is the riser height is 7.2 inches. Now the final question is what is a tread depth? And at this point we just take the formula 2H plus D equals 25 and we divide by, uh, well we, I'm sorry, we take the 7.2 which is, remember that's our height, and we plug it in here. Now 2 times 7.2 plus D equals 25, that's 14.4 plus D equals 25, and we subtract 14.4 from each side, and we get our depth of 10.6. When you subtract, you get 10.6. So that is the final answer to the question, uh, what is, with the architect's constraint, which of the following must be the tread depth in inches of the stairway? And the tread depth is 10.6 inches. And that is hopefully a challenging enough question to give you practice for this upcoming uh, TJSIS. Uh, it, this, um, This uh, Sunday, we, were, we will be holding our final TJ SIS workshop for this season, 2019. We invite you to sign up by going to katedalby.com. Okay. Um, we invite you to join us for our final workshop this Sunday, February 3rd. Uh, you can register for the, um, you can register for the workshop by going to katedalby.com and clicking on the register button, scroll down to TJ Test Preparation and select TJ SIS Workshop. Remember you'll need to bring a, remember you'll need to bring a computer and have access to Google Doc. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If I get enough subscribers, I will probably start posting videos on a more regular basis. I hope you found this helpful. If not, please send me a note and let me know why and I will try to do better next time. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.